first of all, I wouldn't choose any colonizer. Thank <laughs> but, you. <laughs> but uh, Neil Ferguson's um, ignorance about India and Indian history comes up in that particular analogy because the Dutch were clobbered by Martanda Varma of Travancore in the Battle of Kolachel in 1741. When they did try to invade India, they were beaten both at sea and on land. And the defeat was so complete and humiliating that the Dutch commander, Eustis de Lanoy, was captured and then entered the service of the Travancore Maharaja as his artillery commander. So the Dutch wouldn't have had a chance uh, if they tried to take us on, in my view. And they, it's been proven by what happened. Now, I, I, I enjoy counterfactuals uh, just for the hell of them because my speculation is as valid as your speculation or Professor Ferguson's speculation. But I would argue that if the British hadn't come or hadn't been allowed to, to grow and expand the way they did, that we would probably have ended up not very different from Japan. That is, the Marathas were already expanding throughout India. Uh, they were parking subordinate rulers everywhere. So Shambhaji was ruling in Tanjavur, which is why Sambhar was invented to please his palate, um, uh, which many people don't realize. Sambhar was invented for a Maratha, <laughs> not, not by us South Indians for ourselves. Um, and, and you had the Mughal emperor essentially serving as a hostage of the Marathas. The Marathas told him what to say, what to do, what firman to issue, what seal to apply. The only thing that clobbered the Marathas were two things. The third battle of Panipat where Ahmed Shah Abdali hammered the Marathas and the Maratha ditch that stopped them taking the riches of Bengal. Uh, the Maratha ditch built by the British East, and East India Company. So if there was no British, I believe that whatever happened in India would have been something like the Japanese shogunate where you would have had a constitutional monarch, the Mughal emperor would be the symbol and figurehead, the real power would be in the hands of Maratha warriors, they would be Peshwas sort of all over the country controlling provinces. And eventually, as happened in Japan, they would, uh, I hope, begin to modernize and democratize by the 20th century. What's interesting is, however, the notion that you needed to be colonized to have railways. There are lots of countries in the world that bought and paid for railways without going to the trouble and expense of being colonized. So um, I'm quite sure that, uh, that that is a more likely, my theory is a lot more likely than the Dutch who had just been humiliated in the Battle of Kolachel actually taking over the whole of India. I think that they, they tried from the south, couldn't make it up. No chance. Yeah.